Okay, hello everyone. My name is Priscilla Gileta. Or actually my channel is called Chila Gileta. Chila Gileta is actually my full name. Okay. So now I'm gonna tell you about the story of my about my dream job. So when I was a kid I used to have so many dream jobs, like such as a doctor, a teacher, a motivator, a chef, and many more. Okay, so do you want me to talk about it? Like, you know, like tell the story about my old dream jobs? Okay. I'll tell you. Okay, so when I was in first grade, I wanted to be a DJ, but I canceled it because you now I um, I was thinking mm, that if it kind of tiring well it's yeah but I was actually inspired to become a DJ so yeah it's gonna be like that my desk okay well actually I was inspired to become a DJ because of Alan Walker and Marshmallow yeah <laughs> then when I was um, second grade, I was thinking, actually, I, my dream job was doctor. But then I canceled it too because I was afraid of injections. Then in third grade, until fourth grade, I wanted to be a chef because I don't remember. Mm. Oh yeah, I was afraid of knives and fire from the stove. Well, yeah. Well, that was my third grade and fourth grade. Then and fifth grade until second until sixth grade. Um, I wanted to be um, a motivator, but then I cancelled it because I wasn't, I, I wasn't brave enough to like, talk in front of the camera like this, and not. also I wasn't brave enough to talk in front of many people, I was scared. Then, when I was um, when I was in seventh grade until eighth grade, I was act. Uh, I wanted to be a teacher, but then suddenly I was thinking like I think it's tired to you know like a DJ too. Now, me in the in, in the ninth grade, I am still confused. I am super duper confused. What shall I do? And plus, my mother already told me that if if you want to have a if you want to have a dream job, then you must have a passion or an idol that you are, you were inspired. Or you are inspired. Then I was like thinking, who is my idol? Or <laughs> like, who, what is my passion? Like, what is my talent? Then I suddenly started like thinking. I was actually thinking because I was like, you know. I think my talent was design 
Oh, I tell them what's more deep three thing people. But first from little people. Like not from groups but from one people. Like my best friend. She talked to me like I'm like I like that. And then I gave her motivation. Also my another talent was actually making fictional stories. So actually I haven't uploaded because I still have to revise it. Because there are some other words that I really need to change or something. Maybe other things I guess. Sorry. Then Sorry if I suddenly keep silent because I'm just still kind of confused. And plus, sorry, I said this too repetitive. I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm still actually thinking about my dream job. Sorry. When I asked my mom, my mother said, like, I was, like, asking my mom, like, Mom, what should I become when I already grow up? Or what is my dream job, from your opinion? Then my mother said, maybe, sorry, maybe an illustrator or, um, like, a psychologist or an editor. And I was like, maybe, yeah, but I think maybe one of those, maybe not like every every of them, but no, no. well, it's actually from, maybe an editor could be my future job, maybe an illustrator. Well, if I was thinking of YouTuber or a TikToker, well, I was actually already come a TikToker and a YouTuber now, from now. And yeah, I'm just still thinking what, what is my passion. So, let me give you motivation, okay? So, if you want to have a dream job, Well, you you have to first thing that you have that you have to have in your life or inside of you is a passion, a passion. Then second is actually, or maybe an idol, I guess. Like, who are you? Who are you inspired? And also, you have to think, you have to think from now, like, now or never have a, like, never have a job in, in your future. Well, I think that's, I think that's not really good, except, well, if you want to quit then or, or yeah it's okay but I mean don't quit your life and sorry. I mean don't quit your life, okay? <laughs> I mean like maybe if you want to think of any other jobs, it's okay. It's from your opinion. Because from other I mean from my experiences it was actually a lesson from for for me. Well, actually, <sighs> sorry, I said a lot and so stay silent a lot because I'm still thinking. But what is my dream job and what should I become? 
on the future. Well, if it's not a teacher, or maybe an editor, or maybe um, an artist, not artist like, not, I mean not artist like a singer, but artist from drawing maybe. Oh yeah. And then well you know so maybe my past was actually giving me a lesson but don't see from your expectations. Just see like from your inside, like ask yourself every day, like what is like I mean not what is it? I mean like hmm like what should I become uh, in the future? Or maybe um maybe you become like me every day. Well I mean sometimes I ask myself like what should I do? I sometimes call my name whenever I'm thinking like Priscilla, what you what uh what should you do in the future? Or what do you want to become in the future? Then I ask and then I answer, I don't know. I'm still thinking. So well my motivation again is never ever give up on your dreams because dreams can come true and also think think what do you want to become when you uh, are already i mean when you sorry when you want to when you are older what do you want to become well yeah so start thinking from now because in the future, when you think in the future, you will be so confused. So maybe if you are now in primary school, or maybe in junior high school, and or in high school, like me, or in senior high school, maybe you should think from, from now. But don't think until that you want to have a graduation like in like 12th grade no don't do it or in 11th grade no don't do it because it makes you like think think every day like should i become like yeah no don't because it's actually for your actually for my opinion for my opinion actually job is the one that helps you like a lot and also school helps you a lot too you know when my also teacher always like gave motivations every day at school like she always said never give up and also think from now because later later on when you're ready when you are when you are already in college, well, it will be hard, you know, it will be hard. Well, I don't know if it's super hard because I'm still in um, junior high school. Or, wait. Um, well, actually, I think if you already have, like, well, I mean, if you already have, like, maybe a passion from when you were a little kid, maybe you should, like, think, like, so, from your 
your past, your past is actually teaching like talking to you I'm not like now right now like hey my old passion was actually like maybe like writing stories or like um, art sorry Well, maybe a TikToker that gave me a lesson was right. Just see from your past what what did you what did you do when you were in your class? Maybe like me, like I used to create like a bookmark like this. This is actually a bookmark. Sorry. That's my mother. <laughs> or maybe like writing fictional stories. Or maybe, well, yeah, anything. Well, I actually like to play with this. This is not actually a real gun. I still like I bring this in my cousin's house. Then I like bring him like, dude, this is the gun like and then yeah. <laughs> then my cousin like yeah where should I start I already asked I already asked my uh, like my best friend like what do you want to be when you already grow up then she said I don't know then and she asked me like what about you then I said like Actually, I still want to. Well, actually, um, before I want to cancel my dream, I always like said, always said, a teacher. Maybe I can do a teacher. Maybe a primary school teacher. I don't know. When I asked my cousin, she said that she said, um, I want to be a programmer. And then I said, cool, keep up your talent. I said that. Then when I see like my big sister, she's actually in college now, studying. She took um, psychology because she wanted to be a psychologist. And you guys must be asking, maybe you guys must be asking, like, what about you, Priscilla? Or what about you too? And then I said, but from now I'm actually still confused. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I think my class was like trying to tell me like, hey, don't give up. Because even though your past was kind of hurt, well, not actually like hurt, but maybe like, um, not good. Actually, it's trying to tell you a lesson that you should never give up. Uh, this is an example, okay, from my fictional, I mean, from my mind. Oh, the example is like, you get bullied. This is the example, okay? This is just an example, like, not really, not real, okay? So, just an example. So if you get bullied in your past, actually, your past is just trying to tell you that you should, like, stand up. Like, stand up and that's it. No, like, this is just an example that your bully just said. You're such a... Sorry if I said this. Like, you're such a nerd or you're not smart enough or you're not good enough to become in our group or not yeah or other things that the mean people said or maybe they laugh at you maybe they or maybe they um uh, they like hurt you or something physically i'm so sorry if that happens to you in your life well actually it's just strange to give you a lesson 
So, from my opinion, the past, your past is just trying to give you a lesson that maybe you should like fight them or maybe like said no, I'm not like that. Like that. Okay. But from my past, actually, I. You know, you know the video that I, I posted that uh, I got haters, right? Actually, that, actually, that actually makes me stronger. You know, because, do you know how many times that a YouTuber got hated? Oh, yeah. Maybe many times, or maybe a couple times. Well, maybe like me when in Roblox, I was really, really sad for the first time. Then when I was in angry, and I suddenly said, "Oh, I can, I can, I can handle that." Well, one day, uh, my cousin got haters, then I suddenly become so protective. <laughs> I suddenly. You know, like, I was, like, being so mad because my cousin's hater, like, said, like, you know, the mean things? And I suddenly stand up for him. Then I commented, do you know who I am? And his cousin. <laughs> then I was really, really, um, you know, I was really, really mad at him. Then... Oh yeah, I think that that hater got reported. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> well, there's this one time that suddenly my junior was also like hated. Then I suddenly commented. <sighs> I was standing up for her. So I'm just trying to tell you that. Maybe you should like remember what did you do in the past, okay? And also, my one motivation again before I end this recording is never give up on your dreams, okay? Because dreams can come true. And also, just think, just remember about your past. What did you do in your past? Maybe you like drawing, so maybe you can become a motivator. Wait, I mean not a motivator. Ah, oh, goodness. I haven't eaten dinner. <laughs> I'm sure this isn't gonna be. I mean, like, maybe like an illustrator or a designer, maybe. Or maybe if you're in the past that you're bullied, maybe you can become a motivator. Or maybe a YouTuber, or maybe a storyteller. Tell it. Well, yeah, I think just remember that what did you do in your past life? Maybe if you, sorry if I have to talk to this this long, because I'm just trying to help you about your dream job, okay? Well, wait. okay, I think my... I think I'm already uh, hungry. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's the thing that I want, really, really want to say. So never give up, guys. Always stay strong. And also always... Always stand up for yourself. Okay? Oh, yeah, and also one thing. If you don't have any best friends or a friend to talk to, maybe you can, like, comment in my video or maybe in my TikTok. Oh yeah, you can do that. Like maybe you just said like, hey, how can I get friends or how can I study but I'm not motivated? You can just talk to me. Even though I'm still in junior high school, actually um, next year I'm going to be a sen in senior high school. Oh well, yeah, it's okay. Actually motivating people is my passion, I guess. Maybe I want to become an editor, I guess. Later I'll talk to my mother. Okay.
maybe motiv- maybe making motivations is just my hobby. Oh yeah, and also, sorry, yeah, yeah, talk about. <sighs> and also, just see from your hobby, like, what what did you do from your everyday activities? Maybe you can be inspired from that. Maybe it can be your dream job. Like for me, I used to make like an envelope from origami. Maybe I can become an illustrator, I guess, or maybe something, I guess, or maybe other things. Oh, yeah, and also if you have a passion, I'm actually really, really proud of that. So, thank you for hearing my story. I hope that you got inspired. And actually, that is from my opinion. If you have any other questions, just please comment down below. Okay? Or if you want to have like or if you want to have a friend to talk to, just comment too. Um, if you want to like have um, um, like you want to ask me, like my passion is like this, then what should I be? It's okay. Even though I'm a, even though I'm in junior high school, but I actually have a passion like this. I think I want to talk to my mother after this, okay? After everything. Okay. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoy my video. Um, so stay strong, stay healthy, and also wear your mask whenever you go outside. Okay. Bye. See you again. See you soon. Thank you for it my video and also don't forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel or um, and my tiktok account. the link is in my description below if you want to see the if you want to follow me on tiktok or in roblox too if you want, or in Facebook and Instagram. Later, I will put it in the description, okay? Thank you. Bye. I hope you enjoy my video.